Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In this video, I have compiled all three domains for the quest as the courtyard in spring once appeared. There are 24 chests and one conch in total. So what you want to do when you first go in, you want to turn this mechanism around to point to this gem. And once you've done that, we're going to go to this one here and click on fire. So then that will unlock this gem. We can go and pick that up. Now, what we're going to do is we can go into this next room and we can investigate whatever is on the table. Once you've done that, go back and then we are going to change to unknown chamber. So this is just going to change the room around. We're going to be doing this a lot in this domain. So we will have a chest, but we cannot unlock this one. So let's just go and pick up that gem again. And we're going to put it into this machine thing here. It's going to change the color. So now it's yellow, we can unlock the chest, go to this mechanism here. We are going to move it, so then it will point to this one. Then we want to rotate this mechanism to point to the next one. And then that one should be pointing to the chest. Once you've done that, fire away and then it should be a yellow color. And then it should hit the chest. Once it hits the chest, that is unlocked and we can pick up the first chest. So you can actually come back to this domain after you finish. Yeah. So if you didn't get all the chests, then don't worry, you can get them all. But I'm going to show you guys how to get them all now so you can save time. Okay, so next one, we are going to go into the next room and we can see something on the table that we can investigate. So let's just click on that. And then you will see that there's a chest in that room, but that's also locked. So we are, we actually can't unlock that yet because if you look at that mechanism, it's green. We need that to be yellow. So change it to the unknown chamber. Once you've opened up the chamber, you'll know what it is. So you can go back to it if you wish. But for now, we are in the dojo and we are just going to fight all these characters. I'm not going to show you the fight just so we can save time. But once you've beaten all the enemies, we can pick up that yellow gem and then we are going to head back in and we're just going to put that into the machine right here. And then we are going to go back around and I'm just going to change that back to the first room. So once that is changed, we are going to go in and move around these mechanisms so they match up correctly. So we're just going to move this one around here to point to that one. And once they're all pointed correctly, we are going to go and fire. So just to let you guys know, I did this domain twice because I missed a few chests the first time, but I'm just going to edit them into this video so you guys don't have to go back again. But anyway, um, once you've fired and that is all correct, your chest will unlock so you can open up that chest. Now we're going to head back out and then we are going to go to the last unknown chamber. And once you open that, this would trigger the next part of the quest. So we're just going to go in and it's going to tell you that you need an Amamori and this is going to have to go into the shrine so we can unlock stuff. So there's one floating around right there, pick it up and we can put that into the shrine. And then we're just going to fly over to the other side, climb up all of these crates and then climb up the ladder. And then we are just going to run straight to the other side. Then over here, just keep going around, down, and then go around again, up this ladder. And then this part here, there are some electro things that shoot out, you just walk through them. Um, and then over here, you will see there's another mummery and also a chest. So we can open up this chest, fall down into this hole, and then you'll be back into that room you were in before, place the mummery in, and then this door will open which will lead you to this part right here. Now you can walk straight through and do the quest, but because we are trying to get every single chest, I'm going to show you guys how. So go to the second unknown chamber and that is going to open up to the dojo. So what we want to do is just go in and we are just going to fight all of these enemies right here. Once you have defeated them, we can just pick up that yellow gem. And then we are going to go back out and then into that machine thing, put that in. And then we are going to go to the third unknown chamber or second one, I should say. So once that opens, 
we can go straight through and then we're going to go all the way down first so all the way down this corridor and then you will see there is a gem and there's something on the floor we can just pick that up to have a look but there's a chest over here so let's just pick up that chest now to pick that up we need to move around some mechanisms so for this one we need to move this one just elevate it twice and then go up the ladder and i think that is all we have to do everything else is correct yep so let's just go out and then we are going to fire this mechanism here so that's going to fire all the way down once again you don't have to do this and you can go back into the domain again if you wish but we all are here to save time right so that's why um yeah we're gonna just literally get everything done in one domain okay so that is going to hit that barrier and then we can pick that up now we're just gonna go all the way back up to put this gem into the mechanism put that in and then we are going to unlock the last unknown chamber so the last unknown chamber that is going to open up and then we can just jump straight down there is a common chest we can pick that one up and then let's just climb up and we are going to go to the very top to see what the situation is up there so just using this ladder You'll find at the top there is a chest that is locked, so we're just going to get that later. But there's a common chest on the other side. Let's just go and quickly grab that. Once you've grabbed that, we are going to change this mechanism here. Just adjust it so it is hitting the one right next to it. And then we're going to jump down. And then we need to change one more. This one here, change the elevation. So I think you just have to change it once. Just check her and it's looking that it's going up and then we're gonna go back to this one the main one and then just fire and then that should fire onto the chest which will unlock so I'm just gonna go to the chest right now And you will see that the chest is unlocked so we can now grab that okay now glide back down and we are going to go back to change the rooms once again to continue the quest we are going to go to the courtyard Once we have the courtyard, we can go in and listen to this Omamori. Once you've finished with the dialogue, we can pick it up. Then bring the Omamori up the stairs and you will find the shrine, put it in the shrine. So we place one of the offerings, we need to do another two more. So right in front of you, there is another Omamori. We can listen to that, pick it up. And then let's just go up the stairs. And to your right, put it in the shrine. Now go to the right and then just jump over behind this screen there is a chest i missed this the first time but now that you've got the chest let's keep going pick up the third memory right here and then we are going to put this into the last shrine so we're going to go up the stairs but then if you look to the right there is actually a common chest so we're going to pick that one up first once you've got that let's go up and then the shrine is just right here in the middle of the stairs so let's just go up and then you'll get a cutscene with Kazaha. There's going to be lots of dialogue, but this is the end of the first domain. So to get the second domain, you just have to follow on with the quest out here. It's really simple. So now let's go on to number two. Okay, so first when we go into the domain, we are just going to go into this room, pick up the Omamori and then put it at the shrine. And then that should activate this wind current, use it to fly up. And then we are going to move into this room right here. So we're just going to go through the corridor. And then 
we are going to start this. So it's just going to turn the room upside down. It's a little bit trippy and we had to do this quite a bit in this domain. So we're going to pick up this Omamori as well. And then we're just going to go all the way down. There's a triangle, but it's locked. So we are just going to go all the way around and pick up this Omamori. And then we are going to unlock that shrine. So we just have to change these mechanisms around so they face the right way. So we want this one to face that mechanism, that one's touching that one or facing that one. Then switch this one around so then it faces the shrine. So once you've got that, we are just going to go back and then fire. So if you did that correctly, it should fire onto the shrine and unlock it. So that will unlock a wind current, fly back up. And then we are just going to go back and then we need to start this again so it's going to move the room the other way around back to what it was like before and then we're just going to put these omamoris to the shrine once they're both in let's move on to the next room that is opening and we're just going to go down this corridor now there's another room we're going to start this to flip it around once again so let's jump down and just go down past the wind current and you'll see that there's this like gem thing we need to pick that up and we are going to glide back up now let's just glide around and then we want to change the room back to its original state so start that it's going to go around now we want to put that into this machine thing there so now we want to move these mechanisms so it faces the right way and you'll see right there there is another memory so we just have to get that to face it so we can unlock it so start this or fire this and it should be yellow because we put the gem in earlier if it's green you can change the color if you already had the yellow gem already put in there so then that unlocks the memory we can pick it up and then we are going to go back, start this, let the room flip around and then we want to go back into the room, all the way down to the bottom and then put this into the shrine. Now this should unlock the door so that's going to open up and we can follow the path. So once you get into this room, you will have a cutscene with some dialogue. After that's finished, we're going to go into the dojo. So right in here, there's a chest there. Just going to fight the opponents. And then once you've defeated them, you can open up the chest right there. So this is the first chest that you'll get in this domain. Now let's just head out. So go through the corridors and then we'll be back in that room once again. Then this time we're going to go to the room here on the left. And then we just want to start this. So it's going to flip the room upside down. We're just going to go all the way down to the bottom. So keep going down. Once you hit the bottom, we are going to just follow this corridor. And then you'll come across another room. So there are two shrines, so we need two Omaris, so we are going to just start this, so that flips the room around. Now there are two chests here that are pretty well hidden, so we're just going to grab those on each side. So just grab this chest. I'm going to use Kazuha to fly up, but if you don't have him, you can just use the hole to um, get to the bottom and then use the wind current to fly up. But anyway, once you've got both of those chests, we are just going to go to the bottom. And I totally missed here, but there's a chest in the wind current. If you didn't miss, you can just grab that chest. But for now, I'm just going to move these mechanisms so they face the right way. We have to pick up two of the Omamaris right here. So we are going to fire this one. So this is the red one. And it should unlock this Omamari right here that is locked. So you can grab that now. And then now we need the green one, so let's just rotate these. So then it will face the omamori that is locked. So we go to this next one. Basically just make it face the opposite way. And this one, let it face the omamori. And then we are going to go to the green mechanism. 
and then we're just going to fire that and then this should unlock the second Amamori that we need so pick that up and then I'm just going to use this current to glide up and then I'm gonna grab the chest that I missed earlier so go down into this current and then let's just grab the chest and then use the wind current again fly up and then we're going to go into that room so we can switch this room upside down so start that now we have the Omamori, so let's just put them into both of these shrines. So once you have done that, there is another wind current. So use that to fly all the way up. And then we're going to go into this room right here. Down this corridor. And then there is another room. So for this one, we want to just go right down here. And then you'll see that there's a mechanism that's green. Now, we want to grab that Omamori right there. So let's just rotate this one around. And we want to rotate this one up so it would hit that mechanism right there. So now that we've done that, we're going to turn this upside down. And then we are going to go to the bottom right here. Just ignore that gem for now. We don't need that yet. And then we are going to just rotate this one around. We only need this one to face the green unlocked, uh, locked Amamori, sorry. So now we can use the wind current, go all the way up. And then we just have to flip the room back to what it was like before. So we can fire the other mechanism. So go down to the end, to the left, and fire. So once you fire that, that should unlock the Amamori that was locked right there. So that's fired off. And then we want to just switch the room. So turn it upside down so we can get to the bottom. Once you get to the bottom, let's just go all the way down. Then you can grab the Amamori, pick up. And then we want to switch these around. So switch this one to face that mechanism. This one, um, well, it was already there, but switch it around to face this one. And then face the Amamori that is red. So we need to glide up and because it's red, we need to change color. So grab this gem and then we are just going to switch this around. So back to the original. Then we are going to put this into this machine thing, fire. So now it's red and then that should hit that Omamori. So that should um, unlock that. So once that's done, we are going to just turn the room upside down once again. And then once that's turned, let's just go to the bottom. And then let's just pick up the Amamori right there. So once you've got that, let's just glide all the way up. And then you just want to go to the switch and then just start it. So then it will flip the room back to what it was like before. And then use this current to glide all the way up. And then you will find two shrines. So let's just put both of the Amamori's in and then this chest will unlock. So grab this chest right here. And then we are going to use this current to glide to the next room. Just go through the corridor and then once you get to this Japanese room right here, another cutscene slash dialogue will come up. So once that is finished, we are going to just head to the next room so just up these stairs here and then we are going to fight more opponents in the dojo so let's just defeat them and then once you have defeated them you will get a chest so let's just grab that chest right there and then we are done in this room so let's just head out and then we are going to go up the stairs. So that staircase right in front of you, I'm going to use that to go up. So head up and then we'll head into this room and then you'll get another cutscene slash dialogue. And once you have finished that, we can go to this room here and press open door. So when you go into the room, you will get to walk through and find out more about Kazuha's past. So yeah, you can't do it much in here, just walk and then um, just read some dialogue. But pretty much after this, you are done. So we're going to move on to the last domain now. 
Okay, so starting off, we're in this room and we are going to unlock the armory there. So we're just going to fire. We don't have to change the direction of the mechanism or anything. It's already set up. So we are just going to pick this up and then put it into the shrine. Now let's fly up and then fly to this floating building. So inside, we are just going to grab the armory just floating over the table and put that into the shrine. And then you will get a wind current. So let's just take that and then glide over to the next floating island. So here we just have to start this and then the, uh, I guess, floating building will move to the other side. And then a wind current will start once again. So we can just use this to fly up and then use these currents to get into that same building. So once you're here, we're just going to go down, then pick up the Omamori, go downstairs, and then into this room. And on the table, there is a conch. So this is conch number 15. This is the only conch you can get on day two. So just talk to the conch and that would register. Now let's just go and grab that chest over there. So this is the first chest here. Then let's put the Omamori into the shrine. Wind current will appear. And let's take the wind current to the next floating island. So it's just going to take you into this building right here and there is an electro sealy. We're just going to follow this around. Use the wind current. So the electro sealy is going to help you through this whole domain. So it's going to take you here and there's a common chest right there which you can open up and we are going to fly back to where we were. And there is another common chest just right in front of us. So let's just pick that up and go into this room. Okay, so now we are going to unlock this gem. So just rotate the mechanism. We only have to rotate one. And then let's go up to this one and then let's just fire. So it's going to fire out green. So that's going to unlock this green barrier right here. So let's just pick that up and then put that into this mechanism. And we're just going to fire again. You don't have to change anything. So that is going to fire right through and then that is going to unlock that barrier right there where the Amamori is. So we're going to go pick up the Amamori and then we are going to put them into the two shrines right there. So let's jump up, put the Amamori in and then the door will open. So once the door opens, we can keep following the electric sealy. But before we do, let's just fire um, right here. And then there's a chest right there behind that mechanism. So grab that and let's just continue on. So the electro sealy will continue on. Just keep following. Um, it's just going to basically show you where to go. Okay, so pick up the Amamori and then keep going. And now we are going to put it into the shrine right there. Once that is inside the shrine, the electro silly is going to move on and we will have like a bridge that will appear. So here we are just going to defeat these soldiers. Um, just going to quickly defeat them and then there's a common chest right there next to the tree. Continue on. Uh, this will appear after you complete um, that battle. And then you're just going to battle these guys as well. These are pretty easy. So then once you are done with that, a bridge will appear once again. Um, just get the electricity to move along. There we go. And then let's just continue on this bridge. So the electricity is going to take you to a hidden Omamori just underneath. And then we're going to put that in the shrine. And there's another one just behind us. So pick that up, put that in. And then the or a wind current will appear so we're just going to take that keep following the sealy and then we have another battle so fight these guys and then once you have defeated them you can just turn around and there should be a chest right there so we're just going to go and grab that exquisite chest open that up and then continue on our way to the next platform 
So once again, there is another battle. So let's just fight these guys quickly. And once you have defeated them, the electric Sealy has a barrier around it. So we are going to use this and just fire. We don't have to change anything. So that should free the Sealy and we can continue on. So just going to touch that Sealy. And then a bridge will appear. And then we are just going to get to the next platform. So right here, there is a chest and an amamori that is um, covered up. So what we're going to do is just go to this mechanism and just fire. We don't have to do anything. So once it fires, it will actually unlock everything. So we can pick up both amamoris and then we can pick up the chest as well. Continue on with the electricity. It's going to bring you to another platform. And then right here, we are going to fight these guys here. Once you have defeated them, there is two shrines. So put the Amamides in there. And then we are going to go onto the boat just behind us. But there's also a chest. So open up the precious chest that is from the Sealy. And then we will get a quick cutscene. So yeah, there'll just be some dialogue and stuff like that. Once that is all done, a wind current will appear so we can continue on. So keep moving along and then we will come to another battle. So I'm just going to fight these guys. And once you have defeated everything, a chest should appear. So just keep going up and we are going to open up this chest. This is the last chest of the domain. So there are 24 chests in total in the domains and there are two extra chests. Well, from this quest, there are actually quite a lot of chests um, from day two. So I'm going to upload that very shortly for you guys. So there'll be like a lot of dialogue and stuff like that. So yeah, that is pretty much the end of the quest though. So you should have completed everything if you followed along with me. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you found it helpful, please remember to subscribe and like this video. I will have chest videos coming out next. So thank you so much for being patient and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.